I work as an analyst at the Swedish Film Institute, so I follow follow the films uh, all the way from the funding until they have their premiere, and we look at which films do we fund, who are in front of the camera, who are behind the camera, what genres, what lengths, what characterizes the films, and also when they have their release, who are the distributors, uh, how many admissions do they have, uh, so we try to follow the films. And also I have a special um, field of interest in gender equality. I am the editor and analyst for our equality report, which we do every year, where we try to uh, find new information and add n new knowledge to the field of uh, gender equality. So this last year we focused on, uh, on money, where who, who gets the money in the film industry. The situation for gender equality in Sweden, uh, we have had uh, quite a lot of success in the past. We reached our goal of 50-50 in, in the period 2013 to 2016. Um, in um, docu the documentary field, uh, I have a um, positive outcome of the future. We have a strong, uh, strong base of female filmmakers. Last year it was 50% women in all categories, screenwriter, producer and uh, director. And the uh, short films, we also have a lot of uh, women there. But the problem lies within the feature-length fiction films where we have seen during the last two years that uh, the number of uh, women are dropping. So we're currently looking at that to see if we need to make changes for the future. But we try to look at the films over several years. Since we are a small nation, we only found about 13 movies each year. So. We have a goal of 50-50 by 2020, and we hope we will we will reach it. Uh, but we um, the the thing we are worried about is um, full-length uh, feature films, uh, especially directors and screenwriters, and also that uh, we have seen now in our latest report when we looked at the financing that women don't get access to as big a budget as the men do and the big budgets are the ones who attract the most attention and the most uh, uh, cinema goers. So we need to look at that and try to, try to grant women access to the bigger, more commercial projects. Uh, a lot of uh, times it's about unconscious bias and about um, making decisions based on gut feelings and networks and not based on the quality of films. And we always want to focus on the quality of the film and this is what has enabled a lot of female filmmakers to, to, to come forward in Sweden, that we, we don't want to make it a focus about gender, we want to focus on equality. And I think uh, even though that, I think that is the one thing that several countries in Europe could start doing, trying to focus more on the quality and, and letting the women come through that, uh, through that goal.